Hi everyone, it's your boy Ricky here with Romero Cards for Picket Fence Studios. And you guys, I know I have been gone for a, a hot minute, but I am back. I took a month off uh, to get my craft room in order and to get things just cleaned up so that I could actually work in this room. Um, so I'm back and we're going to be using some products from the latest release from Picket Fence Studios. I'm super excited. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at um, some of the things we're going to be using and then we'll get started making the cards. So let's look down at the desk. All right, so we're going to be using the wreath building greetings from our hive. We're also going to be using the happy bumblebee family die set. The fabulous foiling toner cards, a world of bees. We are going to be using the paper inking palette as well. We're going to be using the A2 Rectangles card layering set, which is really cool because it comes with these two inserts here uh, that you can uh, cut out, but it also comes with the rectangles to cut out different sizes of panels. And then we're going to use, uh, use a stencil or a sequin set called, um, I think it's all about the yellows. And then we're going to be also using this new Paper Glaze Lux. It is called Black Eyeliner. So let me go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to get the desk set up and then we'll start with the first couple steps. Okay, so one of the first things I want to do here before we get started is I am going to have some like uh, paste here and I want that to be dry by the time the project comes to an end. So we're going to go ahead and do this part first. We're going to be using the Paper Glaze Lux Black Eyeliner. And I'm not really sure if I'm going to be using black or white cardstock, so we're just going to do both. I went ahead and laid out the ink palette here. This also your cardstock can stick to. Um, you'll want to be sure that you hold on to the two um, pieces of plastic that come with this because you'll want to store it with these pieces on there so that it doesn't get dusty and like dirty and all that good stuff. So I am going to go ahead and place this paper down here and it's just going to stick there. And I'm just going to kind of, I don't know, play around with this to see um, just to get it onto the paper. I'm not going to like smooth it out. It's kind of going to be like this multi uh, media situation. So I'm just going to stir this up here and then I'm just going to take a little bit and then kind of just do this kind of rough thing here doesn't have to be neat or cool because i'm not sure what i'm going to be doing with it yet but i do want to take this off and i just want to scrape the side off here to get that off and i'm just going to set this to the side um, i'm really not for sure if i want to be using that or not so we, we will see then i'm going to take the white piece and we're just going to do the same thing because I'm not for sure which one I'll end up being end up using. So we're just going to take that on there, kind of like do this spread thing, and it's not going to look super neat. That's fine, but we're going to see what this looks like. All right, so we're going to let take this off. We're going to set this to dry. And then I'll be right back. I'm going to go clean the palette knife off and all that great stuff. And I'll be back with the next step. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do some foiling here. We're going to be using the honey yellow uh, foiling um, toner foil here. And we're also going to be using um, the fabulous foiling toner cards. I just want to show you the patterns that, that are here. We have uh, these bees here and two of each one. So there's some going this way and then this way. We have like this dizzy beehive and then this kind of honeycomb, honeycombs, and then these honeycombs as well. There we go. I think I'm going to use this today. So we'll go ahead and get all this put away. And foiling using uh, the laminator is super easy, you guys, with these cards. It's just, you pretty much just cut your paper, you put it on the, uh, the card, and then you just kind of just let it go through. So we're just going to cut a piece here. There we go. 
and we're gonna have the um, laminating machine. It's gonna be heating up. And basically all you do guys with this is you just put your piece of paper or put your piece of laminating over that. Actually, let's go ahead and make it even easier. You're just gonna do that. And then put this down this way. Doesn't really matter which way you put it because it's gonna go through. And then um, you just run it through the laminating machine when it's ready. So let's wait for that to happen. It should be getting pretty hot here in a second. So I'll be right back once this is heated up and I'll show you as it goes through. Okay, so the machine is heated up and all we're gonna do is just push it through. We wanna make sure that it is lined up though. We kinda wanna be on the very edge of the folded paper here because we do not want this to crinkle because sometimes it tends to do that if it's not. So there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and push it through. And the machine will catch it and it'll pull it through. So it takes a little bit to do that. So I'll be right back and show you what the results look like as it finishes. All right, so it's finished going through the machine. Let's see what it looks like here. Wow, looks pretty good. Nice. We're gonna be doing die cutting from this, so um, it's gonna look pretty cool. And if I wanted to, I could get a black piece of um, toner sheet and actually use this whole piece also, but I'm not gonna do that in this video, but I may hold on to it and save it for a future video. So let me go ahead and get cleaned up and then we'll start for the next step. Okay, so now that we have this uh, foiling done, I wanna hold that up again so you guys can see it. It looks really cool here. Um, we are gonna take, and I'm not for sure what this is gonna look like because I have not pre-made this card, but what I thought I would do is just take these bees here, these bee dies, and we are gonna get these cut out of this foiling paper here. And we're just gonna see what this looks like. Um, you know, we may use it, we may not use it. We are gonna see. I think I wanna, hmm. yeah, I guess I'll just use just one half of this. So I have all these on here. I'm gonna run these through a die cutting machine really quick and I'll be right back to show you what these look like. All right, so I got these run through the die cutting machine. Let's take them out. That's the um, official unofficial way of disengaging dies. <laughs> and so let's see here. All right, so that looks cool. I like the way that looks. Uh, let's see what the others look like here. The other ones are pretty small. Let me see if I can get a tool here so that we can get these poked out. Let's see, set of tweezers. All right, that looks cool. Oh, duh, that one's here. You could also paper piece this with maybe black, like replace place it with black inside. But what I want to do is see what this looks like against the black um, background that I already made. So there we go. Those are all the little baby, little bitty baby bees, the family of bees. Okay, everyone. So what I wanted to do is um, I needed to show you a mistake. Um, that I made. Not, I don't know if it's really a mistake, but I, it was an unexpected um, outcome. So what I was trying to do is use these um, uh, dies here to cut out the rectangle of the pieces that I made for um, uh, with the paste, right? So when I went to go do that, it flattened out the paste. And that wasn't the look I was going for. I'm still going to use this, but so that didn't work out so well. And now what I'm going to do is because 
this doesn't really have texture to it. I mean, it has texture, but it's not raised like it like I wanted it to be. I'm just going to take a, um, a heart die that I have in my stash, and I'm just going to cut this out there. But I did also want to show you the white. And so this is kind of what I was going for. Let me hold it up and see if it'll... See how it has like the ridges and it just looks like there's texture and there's like little, you know, it's like raised. It looks really cool. That's what I was kind of going for there. Um, so this one I was able to save. I just trimmed in the trimmer and then I just put it some, I put some foam tape on the back of that and we're going to be using this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this through the die cutting machine and then I'll re be right back for the next step. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start putting this card together. We're going to do some finishing touches. And then um, I do have this second card that I'm going to also make, but I'm not going to complete that in this video. But um, you can check out the our, or my Instagram, Bromero Cards, and check out the second card over there. So here we go. All right. So I want to put this here, like in the center. And then what I want to do is use a sentiment from re the wreath building greetings from our hive. And I want to use the sentiment, my little honey, it's super cute. My head might get in the way, I apologize, but I just want to make sure this is straight. One more up. Yeah, that looks good. So I think right there is where I want it. And then I'm just going to use a red that I have here in my stash. And let's just stamp it twice just to make sure. All righty. All right, so then what I want to do is put some foam tape on the back of this heart. So there we have that. That looks good. Let me just make sure. Yeah, that looks great. And then what I want to do is I'm just going to put this little lady right here. And this little baby like right here. And I'm just going to use my um, my Sweet Petunia's um, Precision Glue Press to do that. I want to try to put, you know, kind of get this good and glued because this is going on a textured surface. So we want to make sure it sticks to it. So we're just going to add plenty of glue here. And we'll just let it sit there for a second and then we'll put something on heavy on top of this for a few minutes so that we can see that it's actually going to stay down. We're going to stick this little guy here. All right, so I'm going to stick my Misty on top of this. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes and then I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I lied. I'm going to go ahead and make this card uh, for us today. And um, 
go ahead and just include it here. So basically I already have all my pieces that are needed to go to make this card. I also forgot to tell you guys that off camera, I did actually cut off three or cut three more layers of this B and then layered it all together so that it was a little bit thicker. So basically now to finish off this card, I'm just going to take off the backings of the pieces of foam tape here. And then we're going to place that onto the black cardstock. Looks good. Then I'm going to take this B and put a bunch. Um, let's see, how do I want to do this? Do I want to put a foam to yeah, let's let's glue them down. So we're just gonna put a bunch of glue in the big parts so that it actually gets stuck to the uh, texture paste. And then we'll put as much glue as we can along the thinner parts just so that we make sure everything gets stuck there. All right, so I'm going to put something heavy on him and then I'll re be right back and finish up the card. Okay, so all we have left to do here is put a little bling on this, even though the B is um, foiled and you, you know, you could see the foiling there. We're just going to put a little, why is this not focusing? So you can see the foil there. There we go. So we're just going to add a little bling. We're going to be using this all about yellow here. And we're just going to go ahead and get some sequins glued onto the card here. All right, and we're not going to put a, um, a sentiment on this. So this is pretty much done. This is the completed card. Looks really cool. The paste has like a holographic green and gold inside of it. It looks really neat. Actually, it looks kind of rainbow. So we have that one. And then here is the finished of the one I did earlier. And what I love about it is you can't, you couldn't tell down on the desk, but there's actually a little red heart. And I assume that's like the mom bee, but I think that's so adorable and I love it. And this heart has sparkle on it. It's just not raised like this guy, but I think those look really cool. Hopefully this will come into, let's see if they, there we go. Um, I think they look really neat. They're fun. Um, I just really think they are like super and kind of simple. There's a lot of white space. I just love it. So, Anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. Make sure you click the links down below to take you over to the Picket Fence Studios store so that you can see all the products that I use today. And yeah, make sure that you go check them out over on Instagram and Facebook and all the other social medias. And you can find me also by searching for Bromero Cards on Instagram and Facebook as well and over here on YouTube. So until next time, friends, I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.